Next, from the state capitol, we speak with two representatives of a coalition promoting the purchasing of locally grown produce. We'll hear why they say the trend in farmers markets and food co-ops is healthy for both consumers and the Illinois economy. This runs about 10 minutes. So we're here at the Capitol today on what is Local Food Awareness Day, and we're joined by two Sarahs who work at Common Ground in Urbana, Illinois. Tell us, uh, what is Local Food Awareness Day and why should we know about it? Local Food Awareness Day is a lobbying day here at the Capitol um, where people come and gather and speak to their senators and representatives and whatnot and encourage people to be aware of local food and, and food sheds and communities surrounding food in all of our communities. I know uh, probably a lot of uh, viewers will know of farmers markets and probably a good number of them go there themselves to buy something. This I would imagine is all part of that and, and why if uh, why does uh, this, are you here lobbying for greater awareness? Is there something you want from the lawmakers uh, or is it just to kind of promote uh, the local growing of food? Well, the local food movement has really been exploding in recent years and it keeps getting bigger and bigger and has more and more meaning both for our own personal lives but also politically speaking. Um, I often say that food is, is two things, it's very personal and very political and that's become more and more true in recent years. Um, for us to be here on Local Food Awareness Day is, as representatives of a business in our community is, is us saying to our, our representatives and our senators and anyone we encounter here today, this really matters. And why, I, I don't know that many people would say food is political. How is it political? Because of some of the issues that we're here to discuss, there are um, several inactive bills um, in the House right now regarding tax breaks for people who build greenhouses, um, composting measures, municipal composting measures, allowing composting in urban settings, um, far, ru rules and regulations regarding farmers markets. There are any number of ways in which these issues being voted on by our representatives can impact our own day-to-day -day lives. And aside from, well, let me ask this. For those who haven't gone to a farmer's market uh, or maybe a local food co-op, which is where you two work, uh, why should one partake uh, of food there as compared to just going to the grocery store as they would typically do? I'm going to actually let Sarah answer this one. All right, local food uh, is travel fewer miles to reach your plate, so it is fresher and still contains more of the nutrients uh, that are, make food healthy. Uh, as well, local food keeps keeps money in our local economies. When you're not buying food locally, you're buying it from farmers you know. You know what measures they're using to produce their food, and also it's not being shipped from California. It's fresher and the money is staying in the local economy. So you're not sending your money elsewhere. Your money is staying here and building more wealth. And part of the local food issue, I mean, it, not exclusively, but part of the issue is this the organic movement. When you sell your food at the store, is it, uh, is it all organic or do you have a mix of locally grown that is or is not organic? Yeah, we have many local farms. We have a couple local farms that are organic. We have local farms that use more conventional and also natural methods. And we do carry um, naturally produced foods, organic, local, and some, some, sometimes certified one way or the other. What is this bag you're holding and how does that tie into local food awareness day? Uh, this bag is a bag containing a seed potato, so a potato with its eyes grown out to be planted to grow more potatoes. We're giving them to our state representatives and senators today to grow support for local food with these seed potatoes so they can plant them and grow their own local potatoes. And if they don't want them, we're going to give them to local, uh, local community gardens for them to grow their potatoes. As we um, have any number of discussions about uh, from the first lady on down to eating better and vegetables, I mean, is that all tied into this? And to what extent uh, are the prices at, at either farmers markets or local co-ops, is, is it competitively priced? Does it tend to be more price or how would you describe that? Um, oftentimes, organic produce is going to cost more, and there are a number of reasons for that. Um, it's more expensive to grow produce organically, um, to, to take those extra measures and ensure that organic certification. Also, those farmers aren't receiving subsidies. They're doing it all on their own. Um, so sometimes organic food is more expensive, 
we do our best at Common Ground to, to keep, make it as uh, affordable as we possibly can. We've created um, programs like our Food for All program, which is a list of staples that we price comparably to other local grocery stores in our community so that our grocery store and all of our food is competitive. We now currently have local farmers who are growing produce specifically for that program, which is enormously exciting that they're working hard to ensure that they're getting their affordable organic produce into people's bellies. You know, it, it's an interesting, we talked off camera, I had earlier, uh, I mean some years ago, interviewed a farmer that had 400 acres of corn and he told me privately he made more money off his three acres of vegetables than he did off the 400 acres of farm. So economically it also puts a lot of money into the, the, the farmer's uh, pockets. Uh, you have a website for more information? Um, for us at Common Ground Food Co-op, it's www.commongroundfoodcoop or commonground.coop. C-O-O-P. Um, and you can go online and look up the Illinois Stewardship, Stewardship Alliance. Um, you can Google that. All of the information will pop up and you can click on some links and get more information. Yeah, their website is www.ilstewards.org if you want more information. They'll have information on there about Local Foods Awareness Day. They're actually the ones sponsoring it. All right, and just one of the many kind of awareness days that we have. And, of course, we're here in over our shoulder, another group trying to get attention, the SEIU people. Uh, just part of what happens here at the Capitol, but the two sirs, uh, thank you for joining us on the Illinois Channel. You're watching the Illinois Channel, an independent nonprofit corporation formed to provide gavel-to-gavel -gavel coverage of Illinois state government and other public affairs events taking place across Illinois. 